Alrighty, here in the country I was born in, we use 120 volts for our outlets. Black is live, white is neutral, bare of the green is the ground. Red and blue are also live colors. However, you may find white live in a switch loop or a 220, 240 volt circuit where the appliance does not require a neutral. This is a multimeter. This will tell us what our voltage is between the hot and the neutral. Or the two hot wires if you're checking a 240 volt circuit. And we're going to be putting some new outlets in here. We're working on some uh, new construction. And if you look closely, you'll see the wire is made here in the country I was born in. That's a nice thing to see. And there it is. So we'll start installing the uh, new outlets. Cut a piece of our wire here to use for our tail. They already have the grounds together with the proper crimp sleeve there. Now I can twist these ground wires together. They put them in a crimp sleeve, but they didn't twist them. I like to have them twisted below the crimp sleeve. But I'll grab it here and I'll twist them together so they're together nice and tight. More of a nice solid connection to have them twisted together there. There we go. We'll open our loop up, make it a little better here. There we go. We'll get our first two wires together. We'll clip them so that they're the same length here. Okay, so we'll get our wires together and we'll twist them. Get a nice even twist like that there. Comes there even on the end here. I have a nice even twist, insulation even at the bottom. Put our wire nut on, make sure insulation goes into the uh, bottom of the wire nut. up. Now we'll get our black wires together here. We'll get our first two started here. Get our insulation even at the bottom. See how the insulation is staying nice and even on the bottom? I'll cut them so they're even on the end. See how we have a nice even twist here? Take our wire nut on, the insulation goes up into the bottom of our wire nut.
Okay, now we're going to fold this back into our box. Okay, now we'll go up and down with our black and white. And we'll put our outlet in. We'll close the screws we're not going to use. Yes, how are you to make out? You get them? It is? Oh, did I set it downstairs somewhere? You took one bag home. Yeah. Right here. Oh. Uh, yeah. Good. Okay, there's stuff in there for your uh, garage, too. So. Okay, so we. Put our black wire on the. I don't know that's in there for mine, so. Oh, not in your way out. Oh, yes, you're locking the light there. Okay, you're going to set it right there. Oh, good. Okay, close our white loop, the direction of our screw trims. You want a better bag for your stuff to put in it? A what? A better bag? Oh, no, that's. You sure? Yeah. You can have this bag. Oh, okay. Because it's like one of the old ones. Okay. Black wire goes on the brass screw, which is the uh, narrow slot. Now I'll turn it around. I'm going to make sure that's tight. Oops, I'm wrapping around the screw there. So I'll bend it over so it doesn't wrap it around the screw like that. Tighten it. And that's what we want. We'll flip it over. We'll get our white on the silver colored screw. I knew that at a year old. I remember looking behind an outlet when I was a year old and seeing the black on the brass screw and the white on the silver screw. But isn't there a certain screw the one goes to for a hot? Yes, that's the brass colored screw. Oh, brass is for the hot. Yes, and silver is for the neutral. And I knew that when I was a year old. And that was for brown. The green screw. That's right. Now, when I was a year old, not every outlet had the green screw or the brown hole. Most well, some had a nut, didn't they? Like a, uh, a, a uh, wire nut, or a um, nut driver nut, like, you just... Nope, they're, they're always a screw like this. Turn it on the back? Nope, they're always a screw like this, but they oh. have not. Okay, I'll, I'll shut up. Okay, know. there's the green on there. So this is properly wired, and now we can push this into our box. And make sure our ground wire stays up here at the top. And now we'll get into our bag here of treats. So uh, there's quite a bit of stuff here for your garage. Okay, we have 632 screws here. And we're going to put nuts behind here to shim it out. And I got this size here. Yeah, the hall light, every time you do that, then the hall light flicker. Yeah, can you unscrew the light from the fix the box itself up there? If it don't. Um, yeah, if it don't. Oh, but more. Okay, so we'll put one up here. Now, for some reason, I can't find my Phillips. Oh, here's my Phillips. Where is I found it? Well, if you can't, I got three million Phillips sets. Oh, okay, I, I found it. It was right in here. I don't know why people want so many game Phillips sets, but they got it. Okay. I had to cut a piece of sheetrock out of here. Now we're going to see if one will be enough for down here. I think it will be.
They used a very cheap box where the screws don't tighten very well. Yeah, it's 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 horrible. It's it's a horrible thing to to build something. You're gonna fix something up for I don't know what. They're gonna kill people up here or what? But they had it so soundproof you could shot a gun up here and nobody would hurt you. Oh. But anyway, um, snug. And I just put that on snug so I don't strip the hole out, and we got our first outlet done. This outlet here is the only thing that's been. All right, so we have uh, no round wires that aren't connected properly. See the crimp sleeve, and they added a wire here, and it's not in the crimp sleeve. So we have to, we're going to untwist this, and we're going to take that crimp sleeve off, and we're going to twist it in the proper way. See if we can get this crimp sleeve off. Hey, it came off easy. All right. So I'll untwist them here. We'll get all our blacks and whites up. Oh, I gotta go to the house part. Oh, okay. I didn't pay attention when I went over there, but I gotta get back here. I gotta take my one little one for medicine for her seizures. Oh. And then feed them. Let them out for a minute. The dogs? Uh, yeah. How long do you think you're going to be over here? Uh, I'm going to say maybe another half hour. Okay. That's about as long as I'm going to be. Oh, okay. Because i got to give them time to eat, time to... i got to change two out, change two in. Did you unscrew the light down from the fixture up above? I didn't, but I can. Yeah, can you do that? And that's why I wish I had one of my other lighters. I took them both home because I was trying to make room in here because I found a... I thought I was almost done with this drywall, but now I gotta break another piece out. Mm -hmm. Where'd my screw go? It's where you last left it. That's what I'm thinking. That is what I'm thinking. I'll screw them boards that way nobody's hurt. Okay, so we got all our ground wires together here and into a wire, not the way we should have them. There's 14 and 12 mixed in here, so it's not, it's not perfectly even. We'll cut them so they're even. But we are on a 15 amp circuit breaker, so we matched the lowest amperage rating wire, so we're okay. So we'll put our wire nut on here. And I'm just let me make sure I see all four. One. One, two, three, four. Yes, I see all four layers. And I'm going to hold the tail here so I don't. This. We'll push this back into the back of the box and put it all the way up here at the top. Put it all the way in the back. Find up so it's up away from everything. There we go. Now we'll get our white wires together here.
Oh, I see a weak spot in the wire there where it'll just break. So I'm going to have to clip all of this off. What price range would you say these houses are in this neighborhood? I'm not really sure about this one. I mean the whole neighborhood. Oh, they're anywhere from 180 to 250, 260. Mm -hmm. I would go with 147. Mm -hmm. All right. Did you want this ball or something? No, no, just unscrew it and I'll check the connections and put it back up. Oh, if I unscrewed it and I set it right here. Oh, the ball? Yeah. Okay. I didn't know there was something you needed. Did a wire come off when you brought the fixture down? Oh, you want the fixture down? Uh, see if you turn the screws on the back of it, just see if they're tight or loose. Yeah. They're, they're probably tight because I did. I think I did that light. No, Joe did that light. Joe that one. But I'll look at it. He uh, just. Or maybe I did that way. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. We'll twist our wires together here. And make sure that no insulation is under the screw head. Insulation is under the screw head here. And we'll fold it back into our box here. Okay, there's one set of wires. We'll get our others ready here. Oh, do you have a heater you can start in the garage there so it's warmed up a little bit? I'll have to check to see if I got heaters, honey. Oh. If not, I'll have to wait till tomorrow and get some. Oh, I, th I could wear my coat if it's, if you don't have any. Well, I got a hoodie if you want one. Oh, okay. Where are my hoodies at, Oh, okay. I just don't like wearing somebody else's clothes, though. I understand. But they're all clean. Yeah. Very clean person, my wife's a very clean person. Yep. She's 100% Italian. Uh huh. And she loves cleaning and taking care of that. Yeah. Well, it looks like this is all pretty tight, but I'm going to let you do that. Okay. Okay, make sure insulation goes up into our wire nut. And uh, each end has a screw in it on them boards. Okay. That way no one goes nowhere else. Okay, so you, you screwed it down. Yeah, I, they were already screwed in, but I screwed them into the step. So. Okay, so I'll, I'll do that after you come back. That is fine. And just in case, you can be a spotter. Okay, so I just have to do this outlet, that one, and that one. And uh, then just put the screws in that. And then we'll be ready to go over and do the garage. The breaker box. Alrighty. I'm probably going to be about 20 minutes and a half hour. Okay. So I'll come back over to and get you that way we can get out of here together. Okay. You don't have to put, oh, I got this one up here too. Yeah. What are we going to do with that? I'm, gonna... I'm just going to wire nut them together and tail it for a wall like GC. That's right. Wall. Did he say he's going to get them? Yep. I think so. Does he I know? know. Uh, no. I'll just, when he gets home this evening, I'll talk to him. 
Okay. And then I would I I go in the car in the morning and get him or whatever. Okay. Now I'll be able to come around twelve thirty. That's fine. That's good. It'd be time to clean my garage up a little bit too. Oh, okay. So I'll, in the garage, I'll just plan on doing the breaker box and the yeah, what one up above. That one right there that you can get to, yeah, because I'm going to have to bring this ladder home. Yeah. Because I don't want to use that ladder. That ladder's not really all that safe. I don't know if it's tall enough for you to reach. Yeah, it is. That rafter. That one is. I got the other cord running into a box. That's the thing. I'm sick of running my extension cord. I want to be able to use it without having to run the extension cord. Mm -hmm. okay. I'll take this now then. No, no, you can't, right? I can stay in our sheetrock bucket for that one up there. Oh, shit. Well, I'll have to adjust those boards. We'll do that when I get back. Okay. No, I mean that one right up there. Those two up there. Oh. Well, no, you can use it. I just wanted to remember if nobody was going to use it. I had to use it. I was going to just take it now, but no, I don't need to take it. Now I'm taking only leave. Not, not a big deal. Mm -hmm. No big fix. I have to out how I'm going to raise that floor right here a little bit. I, there's a TV show that I like. It's called Jail. Yeah. Have you ever seen it before? No, but I've seen it advertised. Oh. Okay. I watch a lot of... Uh, Files. Oh, okay. Um, my wife likes the Channel 9, the Oxygen Channel, I think. The snap, uh -huh. Snap, and next to the Beetle, or something, Killer, or Beetle, or something. Oh, okay. So it's, my favorite show is Jail. Dateline is your favorite. Oh, oh Dateline. I've seen Dateline. Chris Hansen, Catch a Predator. That's one of my favorite shows. Yeah, Chrissy watches Dateline. She loves Dateline. Then I watch all the Files and then like um, Dateline, Snap. Now, you know what I like to see on the jail show? When they put somebody in the restraint chair and they strap them down? Oh, yeah, because they're spit and stuff. They put the bag over their head. Yeah, them. that's called a spit mask. Yeah. People are ignorant. It's a lot of fun to watch. But I watch it too. Sometimes I watch uh, the smugglers trying to smuggle drugs like these times. Mm -hmm. Now these boxes over here are better than the other ones. Oh, they are? Yeah. Well, it might have been two different homeowners, maybe. No, I, I, I think they're the same because they. I can tell by the work the way these were hooked up. They're done probably by the same person. Well... I'd rather have chip boxes in the wiring like than wiring around the good boxes. Right, but the cheap boxes they'll loosen up and every time you use the outlet they'll loosen up the connections. Okay. Okay, so we'll hook this outlet up here. We have our blacks and our whites, and we have our ground wire here. Always trip with a hole that matches your wire size.
Okay, we'll get our insulation even on the bottom here. We'll start twisting on. even twist like this. Clips that are even on the end here. And we'll get our wire nut on. We'll make sure insulation goes up into the bottom of our wire nut. together here. Even on the end, and we'll make sure the insulation gets up under the bottom of the wire nut there. Now I hold this tail so it stays even inside the wire nut. Now this box is back in the wall a little bit, so we are going to space them out with some nuts here. But if these boxes were back further, I'd have to use box extenders, but they're not back so far. See how many nuts I'm gonna need. Okay, one should do it here. I might need two on the top. Okay, so we'll put our uh, black on the brass screw first. Sure you don't get your insulation caught under the screw head. And we'll flip it around, we'll get our white on the silver color screw. And that's what I knew how to do at one year old. And I knew outlets were 120 volts when I was a year old too. There we go. So we'll go up. 
down. And put our ground wire up on here on our green screw. Make sure our copper is under the screw head all the way around. I'm going to put two on this one because the box is way back in the top half. Yeah. That's going to be nice and flush there. Okay, our head is nice and tight, it's pretty flush, so now we're ready to go to our next one. Leave in here for the ground wires, so we don't have to pigtail them. Even make sure insulation is up near the bottom of the wire or not.
Hopefully you want to show this one here. Picture insulation goes up in the bottom of our wire mat here. Close the screws you're not going to use.
that screw is kind of stripped out, so I'm going to have to take this out. some uh, sheet metal screws. Hopefully one of these will fit. I don't want them too long because I don't want to puncture the wires where they come into the box. So we'll try one of these. This size is going to fit nicely. Okay, we've got our outlet on there. Oh, that one's stripped too. So we'll take this out. These are just slightly thicker, so they bite. So. nice and tight it's going to be flush so now we'll go and do our very last one okay this one the contractor had put in for temporary use they have power up here and uh, so you can see they got insulation under the screw heads here same with this black wire see how they got the insulation under the screw heads you don't want that you can see how sloppy that is. I'll get my tester and make sure this is off. Okay, everything is off. have the wires around the screw the right way
and that one's right side on. You can see how when they tighten the screw, it, it mashed the insulation and caused a little split down the sides. You can see right there. Make sure I get my insulation to go up into the bottom of the wire now. So we'll close the screws we're not going to be using.
So we'll put our black wire on the brass screw. Nice and tight. We don't get our insulation under the screw head, so it looks like that there. Flip it around, now get our ground and white wire. Now this box has sunk back quite a bit, so we're going to put some shims in here and shim this out so the outlet is nice and tight to the wall. We used a real cheap box and the screws don't really bite so we're going to put a little bit thicker of a screw in there. Anything, I'll get something to shim this out with. It looks like one will be enough. Oh, we gotta put two in here. down nice and flush. Our ground wire is up out of the way of everything. Put another one down here. Then we'll have to get something another nut to put on the bottom. Now this one's not as back as far as so I'm gonna use a smaller nut. for a box of nuts and screws, but if I can't find them, I'm not going to go crazy looking for them. I'll just use something else. Okay. 
we have some nuts and washers here. We found one that's a little smaller. And it's going to fit so it's perfectly flush. And our top is perfectly flush. It's Nice and tight, so we got all the outlets done. Now we just gotta do a light. I'm gonna go flip our breakers on. So I'll show you how to use the uh, multimeter here to check our uh, house current. So uh, here in the country I was born in, we use 120 volts for our outlets. It's a split phase coming into a house. 240, 120 live to neutral, and 220, 240 between the two live wires. So with this meter, the way you do it is... You choose a voltage that's just above what you're going to be checking. And it says AC, where you see the symbol for AC. And we will look and uh, see what our voltage is here. Okay, 121.8, 121.7, that's what we are getting. So that is what the voltage is here in our, in, in the country I was born in. You might see it fluctuate a little bit. Peace. Thanks for watching.